guys, it's Terry. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I think it's about time that we got into the um, empties video. I have a basket that's overflowing and my family would like me to throw my garbage out and there's, they keep asking why I have not done that. So <laughs> why I'm holding on to garbage. Um, and I keep telling them it's for a video they don't understand. So Robert doesn't understand. Kenzie knows what I'm doing. Um, so we're going to get started. I have a lot of products in here. It's kind of like a mix of everything. If I thought it was worthy of letting you know about it, it is in here. One of the things that I'm noticing is some of the things that you don't see as much are the fails because sometimes I don't finish the products up. They sit. I don't know what to do with them, but I don't want to use them. So I'm not finding myself grabbing for them. They're sitting there in my bathroom and I grab for something else. So um, eventually I just need to get rid of those products. And I, if you guys want to see a fails video, please let me know and I will do that. Um, all right. Also, before I get started, these earrings, OMG. So I love these earrings. I think they are so fun and so gaudy and so fun. Um, I'm going to come in and show you guys. My daughter hates them so much. I told her I was going to wear them to her graduation party. And she said, mom, if you wear those to the graduation party, I'm disowning you and I won't take any pictures with you. So that was the end of that. All right. But let me show you these earrings because they're fun. Look at that. <laughs> so they got the watermelon seeds on them. I just think they're pretty. They're done in like acrylic and then they have this this just like piece here. I could care less about that piece, but I love the watermelon hanging. <laughs> so anyway, that was a fun find. I'll link those for you below if you're like me and every once in a while you want to do something kind of crazy. The cat's trying to get into my empties bin here um, and just wear something fun for the summer. These were from Bubble Bar and I'm pretty sure that they still have them. I don't remember how much they were, and but usually Bubble Bar does have a coupon code. Like if you're brand new and you haven't bought anything from their website, you can get a discount. So um, you may not want to get these. You may want to get, they, I think they had other things like cherries and like other fun stuff for the summer. I just thought that these were so much fun and my daughter hates them with a passion. So that makes me want to wear them when I'm with her because <laughs> that's what we do. Okay, so let's get started. The cat needs to get down. She keeps jumping on my, on my lap. She does it every time I talk for some reason. Okay, so let's get started with these. These are my method. Um, this is the method ginger mango in both scents, the laundry detergent and fabric softener in their big. They took a long time to um, go through. These are from Grove Collaborative and they smell good. Um, it, it's a, it's kind of a fresh scent. I liked the scent. This is not overwhelmingly heavy in the scent and the Grove has all natural products. Method's wonderful. Um, they have Mrs. Myers. I have a bunch, but I finished these. I do like these. I liked how big these were. So these are 1.58 or 53.5 full ounces. And I was trying to see four times concentrated. So you just need a little bit to wash your clothes. Um, Robert prefers, this says it has 66 loads in it, and I think the price was pretty good. Robert doesn't really like this. He likes more like really, really heavy scented stuff, but I have sensitive skin, so this was great. I was able to have this, have a little bit of scent in my clothes, and not itch, and so I liked it. I think I might have already purchased some more stuff. He likes like Gain and Downy that are really, really strongly scented, and a lot of times that really gives my eczema a hard time, especially Gain. Um, I can use that stuff more in the summer, but definitely can't use it in the winter. Um, in the winter, I need stuff like this. So I will have my Grove Collaborative link listed below. I think there might be, yeah, there's another couple products in here um, from them. It looks like this was in the bottom of a thing with the, something exploded in a bag that I had this in, so I'm going to be careful. But this was the Honeysuckle Laundry Detergent, you know, beads that you put in. This I liked. This really has a nice fragrant smell. Right now in there, I think I have lavender, and normally I'm a big lavender fan, but I like the Honeysuckle much, much better. I would recommend this if you need them. Um, the only complaint that I have, these are 18 ounces. It's so easy to pour... Um, they have, so there's this side here, and then they have like a scoop side here, um, and a lot can come out. You know, even when you use a sprinkle side, you can see how big those are. So you can easily use too much, but I really, really like these. Again, Robert likes more of like the downy and the gain um, scented ones, but for me, these are good. I felt like it gave a nice gentle scent to your clothing, but I also will wear perfumes and lotions and stuff, and he doesn't. He doesn't wear any of that, so for him, he likes his clothes to smell 
really, really fresh during the day, especially because we have dogs and he just wants his clothes smelling really fresh and he needs something stronger. These are a little bit more of a gentle scent, but they're also like a lot less chemicals that you're you're adding into the water and into, the, into your clothing. So I prefer this, but the honeysuckle is a great scent. So try that one out. And then I think the last Mrs. Myers, I'm keeping that one in the bin because it has something on it. The last Mrs. Myers item or uh, Grove Collaborative, this was my favorite and I think it was seasonal. Um, I'm gonna have to check and see if it's still up there, but this is the watermelon scent foaming hand soap. And um, this smells just like watermelon and it is foaming. And this is, so it tells you it's made without paraben, parabens, flechlates, whatever that is, tricolcin, nia india formaldehyde. Wow, I wouldn't know that they would put formaldehyde in some of our hand stuff and artificial colors, but it is made with plant-derived ingredients, natural essential oils, aloe vera extract, glycerin, and olive oil. And um, so this is, this is, <laughs> oh, how cute, it says hint. If you have a young children, have them sing happy birthday two times and their little hands will be as clean as a whistle before they know it. Um, that's so cute. So I get a couple of these and I have, I tend to like the foaming hand washes better than like the gel, the antibacterial gel ones with the beads and stuff. I do like these, but this scent, I've tried a couple of them. The watermelon's my favorite. If I could stock up on just watermelon scents, hence the watermelons, I would get this and tenfold. I need to do, take a look and see if they have it. I think I got it last summer and it sat underneath my sink and I was running, because we had so much that I didn't buy any for a while. And I pulled this out. We went through it. I think everybody really liked it. It just leaves such a nice watermelon scent on your hands. And um, so that's a great, great product. So I think you guys would like that. Um, hair product. This one, let me see if I have. Okay. This one was the Garnier Fructis Triple Nutrition, Nutrition Paraben Free Fortifying Shampoo with avocado oil and almond oils. This was for dry to very dry hair and it says that it has, my nose is itching, three times the moisture and proven strength system. Um, we use this up. I thought it smelled nice. I would not say that this did anything fantastic to my hair. I don't feel like it was super moisturizing. Um, it wasn't drying though. It definitely had moisturizing properties to it. I think that I need a little bit more with color treated hair and also with the hormones that I'm going through with my thyroid, I do need, I need it a little bit more because my hair is just extremely dry, especially now that summer has come along and I've had to use like hair masks and coconut oils and all kinds of things to really nourish my hair. This just didn't do it. However, if you just have normal dry hair, I think this is that this would actually work fine. And Garnier always has great smelling and they're very affordable and you get a lot. So um, here is this one right here. Um, Robert used it too. You know, Robert uses shampoo, body gel or body wash. Um, and he uses it all like, like he'll use shampoo on his whole body and scrub his body up. He'll use it on, he'll use the body wash. He just, if it smells good, he'll use it. So if I don't like a product and it smells good or I don't feel like it's performing well, he'll he'll use it up for me. So this did get used up and I did like it. I do think I like the conditioner of this better. All right. So um, we have a couple food products, not many, but a couple. These, oh my God, guys, I bought these yesterday and I ate the entire bag myself, all alone. Uh, these are Pepperidge Farms. They're the strawberry thumbprint cookies. These are my favorite by Pepperidge Farms. Um, if you haven't tried them, they're so great. You should try them. They've got like a shortbread cookie and then they have, they have strawberry and they have raspberry, but I like the strawberry ones and they're dangerous though. How many calories are in these suckers? So you get 130 calories in three cookies. That's not bad. Three cookies for 130 calories. Of course, if you eat the whole jar or the whole box, it's six servings, so six times three. I mean, <laughs> you're getting up there. Um, but anyway, I love these. These are a special treat for me if I'm having a moment and I don't get them all the time. I don't see them all the time either, but um, I just got these at my local grocery store and love them, so I would recommend those. 
this came in, this is the Daydreaming About Donuts. Um, this came in one of my boxes. It's a 200 calorie little bar, 200, uh, 12 grams of protein, no gluten, no sugar alcohols, no dairy, no soy, and it was 100% plant fueled. So it's called Daydreaming About Donuts, and it says, yeah, it's a protein bar. I liked this. This was a um, a very moist, non-drying little bar. Um, had a nice little texture and sweetness to it. Uh, it was made, it's a simply made with almonds, sunflower oil, brown rice, and cassava flour. That's it, those are the ingredients. So I liked this a lot. Um, I have not seen these anywhere and I wouldn't mind getting a box of these. I haven't really looked for them. I put them in here in here a long time ago and I forgot about it. So this empties video should have been out like two months ago. But anyway, I liked these. I thought this was good if you're trying to be healthy and eat something delicious. Um, okay, this was also something that came in one of our um, boxes that I've gotten in. Collagen Fuel Chocolate Coconut Peptide Drink Mix. I did not like this. Now, I think I might have liked it if I had put it in a different drink. I put it in my coffee, and it said that you could. It's dairy, whey, and soy-free, and paleo-friendly, and sugar-free. Collagen is really good for your skin, hair, and nails. Um, it says blend or shake in hot or cold water, coffee, and smoothies. I think I didn't like this because of the chocolate in the coffee. I think that's the part I didn't like. I will say it blended nicely into the coffee. I like you, I didn't like the taste of it, but a lot of them don't have any taste. They're just the regular and you mix it in. This was the coconut and chocolate and I didn't like it in my coffee. But if it was just like the plain collagen packets, I've tried those and you don't really know that they're in there and they're just giving your coffee a little extra boost for your skin, hair, and nails. And I do like that, but this one I didn't like. So there is that. Okay. I think that's all our food items. Um, okay, we have a candle. Um, this scent is something that goes in and out of our Jewel Scent website. I'll link the Jewel Scent website down below because there's, if you like tropical scents, this is the time of year to get them. It's summertime. There's a lot of good scents up there. Maui Sunrise, these candles are our signature line. These, I might clean this out. These do double as drinking glasses. When you're finished, these come off. This is one from our older line. Um, right now they have more of a, this is like a paper one, but it does come off. The, now they're more of like a, I don't know, like a thin film, like plastic or laminate or something that comes off. Um, they do have rings inside of here and I got had gotten the ring down. I did leave this as is and not clean this out to show you the bottom. It will burn, it probably would have kept burning um, all the way to the bottom. You can see it burned to the very, very, very bottom. So they burn a very long time. I could have probably burned that another hour, that tiny little bit, and it would have still burned. It just burns down to a clear liquid, and it burns clean all the way down, which I liked. These are a natural soy candle. I think I might have a couple candles in here. Oh, I have another candle. I do have one more, one more candle in here. Um, and, but you can use these drink cups. So I might keep these because I really do like the drink, drink cups. Sometimes I'll etch on them and do different things on them and make sets of four and give them away as gifts at Christmas time um, when I used to have time. I don't have time. Uh, they are made here in the USA as well. I don't know where the ring is, but I wanted to show you a ring that I got out of one recently. So Maui Sunrise has a really nice sort of tropical coconut and fruit type of a scent. I love this scent, but again, this is an in and out scent. It's not something we have all the time. I don't know if we currently have it, so you'll have to look on the website and see what current scents are up there. Um, this one came out of a candle I'm burning right now, and uh, I just found this candle in it. It's really beautiful. I mean, this ring, this candle. It's a pretty amethyst marquee cut ring, and it has all little crystals also around the sides. I'll put it on and show you guys. It's a size six. Oops. Ah, get straight. There we go. So it's really beautiful. It's very sparkly, very pretty. The rings are really nice that come in. Um, it does have a code, which is SG46, that you can take. And so you'll see these when you get them. Don't, don't take these out. They do one side has your ring size. The other one has a code. 
you're gonna wanna take that code, go to the website, go under appraisal, put your code in, and you'll see what the value of your ring is. And I think the highest value I found is $100, but you can also get golden tokens. If you win that, then you're winning some kind of a high dollar prize. You gotta call the company, redeem the code on your token, and they tell you what you've won. So, all right, I do have one more candle in here. This was by Jewel Scent as well. This was Mandarin Citron. I kind of felt like this smelled like a, um, these are more like a, a can, you know, the little jars with the top. Um, I felt like this smelled like citronella. I didn't love this scent. Obviously I burned it up and used it. I also, for some reason, felt like this burned a lot quicker. Um, I was trying to see if it had the ounces on it. Uh, this was seven ounces and then this candle was 10 ounces, so significantly three ounces smaller. Um, it did burn quite fast. And um, again, I thought the mandarin, it would have more of an orangey scent, but I felt like it just smelled like citronella. I wasn't a huge fan. I didn't, yeah, I don't really like this scent. Um, I do like the little size of these. These are cute little travel sizes. Sometimes we also get like tins that are great for travel. Um, if you wanna take a candle with you and um, it, bur it burned like the rest of them, just fine, burned all the way down. I just didn't, you know, and they're all made with essential oils. This wasn't my favorite scent, so. Staying with Jewel Scent, so we have a couple products from them. Um, I finished up the Sweet Pea Body Scrub. And if you haven't tried our body scrubs, I would encourage you to, they're wonderful. Um, I use them for shaving and exfoliating. They are the only sugar body scrub that I know of that lathers the way these do. So first you rub it in your skin and you can feel all the gritty kind of um, sugar and then the sugar melts and you're left with this rich, thick lather and it's wonderful. Sweet pea, I can still kind of smell it in there. It's a good scent. Sweet Pea is a gentle scent. It's not overpowering. I didn't feel like it stayed it really stayed on my skin after I was finished with it. Um, but I, I, they're made with natural cane sugar. These are made again in the USA and California. It's probably the best. I, I think our sugar scrubs are some of the best scrubs, sugar scrubs I've ever tried in my life. I swear to you on that. Um, I keep these in stock. Um, I don't know this scent I will buy again. I do. I liked it, but right now I'm going through other ones. I have a peppermint one up there that I'm using, which is great in the morning. Uh, my favorite one is a Hawaiian pineapple one that we have. And again, that's a seasonal one that we don't get all the time, but that is my all time favorite. So if I have a choice and I'm on the website and I'm gonna buy one, I'll buy the, if, if they have the Hawaiian pineapple, I will buy that one. But I did like sweet pea and it smelled really, really nice. It's just a gentler scent. And these also have a ring in them. And I think the rings in here are $20 and higher in these. So will I buy the sugar scrubs again? Absolutely. Absolutely. I just don't know if I'll buy that scent anytime soon. Something spilled in here. Some of these products must have still had a little stuff in them. All right. So this is the Nourish Oatmeal and Chamomile Bath Bomb. I didn't get to use this. Robert used it. Um, this did have a ring. So he's like in the bath and a ring popped up and he gave it to me. Um, and this was from our Artisan collection. These were for, this was called Nourish and these were bath bombs to help nourish and moisturize your skin. And, um, Every once in a while, Robert takes a bath and he likes the bath bombs, um, which I think is funny. I don't think he knew what bath bombs were until he met me. And I'm like, here, throw this in your water. It'll make your water soft and make your skin soft. And so he did like this and it didn't have like an overpowering scent. It was more of a, a natural scent and just really taking care of, it, it, it had a small scent, but was mostly just moisturizing for your skin more so than the scent. We do have very strong scented ones as well. This was just not one of them. Oh, I forgot to mention, I do have another candle and I have one more Grove collabor Collaborative. This one I did like. So here you can see again, this candle is, I did take the little thing out. Um, it's almost cleaned out. I gotta wash it. It's got like a film on it right now. Here's, here's the new labels. So they're like a sticker. So these stickers are easy to take off. It's just one big sticker you can peel off and then scrub it. And here you, you can kind of see you have a drinking glass when you're done. This was Valencia Orange. 
I love citrus and orange. This did smell like orange. I did really like this scent. Um, I would purchase this again. All of our scents though, like they are so seasonal. We have new scents that come out each and every single month. So if you see a scent up there, you need to get it. And you need, if you love, you know you love it, you need to stock up because you might not see it until next summer again. Uh, we don't keep a lot of those stocked. So um, Orchard Apple, if you like fruit scents is another one, but this is um, Valencia orange and I recommend this one if you like if you like citrus you'll like that okay the next one is um, Mrs. Meyers mom scent this was from their fall line so this will not come out again until the fall and this is like your multi-purpose spray um, for your countertops your microwave your stove tops your kitchen table you can use it on your wood um, side tables we always have so many of these i love these sprays i i've tried some of the other like method and some of the other sprays i don't like them as much for the the just general purpose sprays as i do the mrs meyer and i did like the mom scent there's a peony scent i really like um, the honeysuckle scent's amazing that's what i'm using right now that's a, and i think that they keep that in mostly most of the season the honeysuckle one this one though you can't get until the fall one you, that's a big deal and if you're a grove collaborative follower everybody goes and gets there's this one and there i forgot what the other scent was pumpkin i didn't like pumpkin not in the spray but this is a nice floral um it smells like mums and it's really nice it's a great scent um, and you get 16 full ounces to clean your house. Um, these are fantastic. Grove Collaborative. I think if you use my link and you place your first order too, you get a free five piece gift. And I think it includes one of these, not the scent, but it includes one of these. So um, definitely check that out if you haven't. I do have a Grove Collaborative haul that at some point I'm doing when I catch up, but take a look at those. I'm trying to go through this kind of fast. Um, all right, so now I think we're getting into, let's finish the bath. Let's finish the bath and then we'll get into the beauty. Okay, so yes, yeah, something totally in exploded a pen or something in here. All right, this was the Amica Triple RX Shampoo. It was C. Buckthorn Berry. Um, it says it repairs, restores, revitalizes for dry damaged hair. I just bought a bigger, I think it was the same one, a bigger container of this because this was not big enough. Um, it's a thick, it's a very thick shampoo, so I felt like a little bit did go a long way with this. I did not feel like this was extremely moisturizing for my hair, but it smelled pretty. So I did like that about it. Yeah, it's got a nice little scent. Um, there's bubbles on it coming out of it. So um, I must have put water in there to get the like little bits of it out. So I liked it, but I needed a good, sham um, a good conditioner. So this time what I did is I bought this, I think it was this one, and the conditioner, like a big bottle. They were at Marshall's on sale. So I thought, well, let me try them out, see if I like them with the conditioner. I'll give you more of a review when I use that and let you know what I think. Um, also, this is Secret Luxe Lavender. I liked this a lot as well. I only use the clear kind that comes up, you know, that it's got the holes, it looks white now, but you know, you, you push it up at the bottom and it's clear so it doesn't get like white on your clothing. I only use that and Robert only uses these. We use Secret, he uses Secret, he doesn't care. He's man enough to say he uses women's Secret. He said it works better than the men's. So. Um, we get these in different scents, but the Luxe Lavender was pretty good. I liked it. I will repurchase that again. Is someone here? Yes, hold on. Okay, sorry if the positioning of the camera is different. Um, Robert and his son had to stop over, switch trailers for work. All right, so let's get through this. We have a couple more bathroom items. Uh, this is the Method Cedar and Cypress Body Wash. I think this was a sample that came in. Robert used it. He liked it, but I don't think he has a strong preference has a sort of woodsy, spicy scent in this one. Um, I noticed though, he used my Sol de Janeiro and I, excuse me, Nitro. I have another one in there that he used before he finished this up. This would have been like two uses because the man uses so much of this. Um, and he was using the other things up before this. So um, I don't think he loved it. So, all right. So uh, there was a company that I had gotten some hair stuff called Rapunzel. And I don't know if they're still, if she's still around or not, but this was Botanical Extracts uh, Royal Deep Treatment BU. It's a conditioner for your hair. I love it. It's wonderful. It smelled amazing. Um, it just, 
the only reason I stopped using this and it works amazing. The only reason I stopped using the Rapunzel hair care line is because the, it was too small. And this is like three conditioning treatments for me. And they were saying it should last you a month and it's not going to last me a month. So I'm going to put the name of it up here in case you want to look it up. So sorry, we did have an explosion and I, all the stuff has this purple. It was purple shampoo. That's what it is. So that's it for, now we're going to get into beauty and I'm almost done. So I'm going to cruise through here. Um, these are the Precision Beauty Pore Refining Makeup Remover Wipes. They worked just fine. They were nothing crazy. I do not think they refined my pores. Um, they also had tea tree oil in it, which is good. Tea tree oil is good for inflammation. So I suspect if you have acne, it would probably tame down or take the redness out of your acne. It's also used a lot when people get poison ivy. Um, I don't know how much tea tree oil was in here. Let's see. It is one of the one, two, three, four. It's the fifth ingredient in here. Um, these were $3.99 at TJ Maxx. I get all of my baby wipes, baby wipes, um, makeup remover wipes at TJ Maxx. I liked these. You got 60 in them. That seems to be standard for $3.99. Um, they're a lot more, I feel like, at Target and other places. So I always go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls and get these, which I, I like. All right, this was a um, organic infused age-defying trail uh, nail treatment essentials with sweet almond cuticle oil. Um, I haven't finished this actually. The jar is actually upstairs. Um, it's almost gone, but I do use this and I do like it by, a, is it a Desi, a Des? A Desi or a Des? Um, we got this in one of our boxes and for whatever reason, especially like my nails that I write with on the sides, I have like really like almost like calluses and dry skin from getting my nails done. So I do need to use a cuticle oil pretty often and um, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know if it's any better or any worse than any other ones, but it works. So I thought I'd let you know. Um, Skincare, this was the Dr. Brandt 24-7 Retinol Eye Cream. I liked this a lot. Um, this you just sort of pat in under here. And I felt, it, you know, retinol, you got to be careful with if you're not used to using it. There we go. Um, you got to go at it slow. Don't use this every day or it, you might find that it dries your skin out. But it did help me. I felt like with some fine lines and wrinkles and it helped sort of with under eye bags. They do have like no more baggage too. That's also really good. So I was really sad that this one was, yeah, that's all out. I was really sad that this one was out because um, I do like Dr. Brandt and Dr. Brandt is so freaking expensive. So whenever we get that stuff in like BoxyCharm or whatever, I'm so excited. Um, this was a free sample that came with Beautylish. If you order off the Beautylish website, which I will put below, they send you a free gift. And this was my first free gift with my first order. It's Bioderma. Um, it's, it was a micellar water. This was amazing and so gentle and it took everything off my face, like all my makeup off my face. And I really, really like this. I was like, oh, it's micellar water, you know, makeup remover water. No, this was really good. Like this was better than like, the other stuff that I've used. I have no idea how much this is on the website, so I'll see if I, I'll definitely put the website there for you, and if I can link this, like if they have a full size of this, I'll link it for you because it's it's wonderful. All right, this I hated. <laughs> um, this is by A Cure. Now, I left this on here to show you, okay? So this is by A Cure, and this is a brightening facial scrub. I used this in the shower, it looks like the color of baby poop. Seriously, there's the color of it. It's gross. And it smelled gross. And I just really did not like this product. Do not recommend this. Um, I guess it probably did a little bit of brightening, but nothing crazy. Like I have other products that visibly brighten or vitamin C visibly brightens. This is sort of an exfoliating scrub, but I did not like the scent. I did not like the look of it. Like this was just not a good product for me. Um, this is a blush that I finished up by Unique, and it's the Mood Struck Powder Blush, uh, and it was for breast cancer that I had gotten this last year. I don't know. You can see some of it sort of spilling. It broke up in there a little bit. I could probably pan that. You know, I could probably reset the crush it and set it, but I didn't think it was enough to really keep. It's really... Sorry about that. FedEx man was here. Dog went insane, as you saw. Nitro, stop walking by me. He's pacing because we've had visitors and now he's all riled up. His adrenaline's going. He doesn't know what to do. So anyway, this, this has such a beautiful, beautiful pink 
blush and it gave you a really natural sort of highlight if you didn't want to wear a highlighter with it you just wanted to wear the blush it's so beautiful um, it says the color is just uh, supported because it was to support breast cancer research and again it was by unique I don't know if they have this anymore um, my friend does still sell unique if I can find her website I will link her website below in case you want to check out and see if they have this blush all right, this came in one of my crystal boxes. This was a Define Facial Serum infused with Rose Quartz Amethyst Rose Hip Sacred Oil Blend. There were um, little, um, I think it's out, is it out? Yeah. There were little crystals in here. There were amethyst crystals in here and rose quartz crystals in here, which I dumped out. Um, I liked this. This is a good facial serum. It was very moisturizing. I used it at night before I went to bed. Um, there it is. Aphrodite, I think it is. Aphrodite Facial Serum. So I don't know if that I'm going to be able to link this or even find this. This might have been like a special blend that was made. I'll link as many of the products as I can, but this Nitro, go lay down. This might have been something that was lay, um, made for the box, so you might not be able to purchase this. It might have been like a homemade thing from the, the makers of the box. So um, I will look and see if I can find it. I'll link it. If not, um, I won't be able to link it, but I'll link as much as I can. All right, I have two perfumes here. This is the Aqua de Gallo by Giorgio Armani. Um, there's a tiny, tiny bit in there. Oh, I love this. I love this one. I'm sad that this is gone. I'm going to use that little bit that's up. I didn't realize... There's a little bit. I really love this. This is sort of my summer scent. I usually keep this in stock in the summer and in the winter I, I wear something else. Um, but this one is such a beautiful summer scent. It's a fresh floral cotton scent. It's just nice and it's definitely very fragrant, but it's not like overpowering. So it's by Giorgio Mani. I'm gonna bring it up so you can see. Aqua de Gaia, de Goya, I don't know how to say it. Um, I think they have a couple different versions. This one is um, the one that I get, and but I think they have like a pink version of this, like a different, uh, like maybe a lighter scent of this. So I usually keep the travel the travel roller balls in my purse, and then I have a sprayer up, like the big perfume one in the house. Um, the next one came. I think this was a sample from like Alta or it or Sephora. This is Atelier Cologne. Clementine, California. I really liked this too. This is definitely a citrus perfume. I'm gonna bring it in so you guys can see. And like I said, this was a sample. I don't believe there's any more in here for me to get any out of it. I really like this. Again, this is like a citrus perfume. It kind of reminded me a little bit of oranges, but of course I love those scents. So of course I'm gonna like that. Um, I would repurchase this again. If I found a roller ball of this, I would throw that in my purse. I don't know if I'd buy a big one of it. Then I have the Tarte um, Lights Camera Lashes. This was, I like this, I like this a lot. This is a great mascara if you haven't used it. This is one of my favorites from Tarte. It really kind of gave me length and volume and thickness. I really liked it. At the end, you know it's bad because it's just like dry and you really can't get more out of it. It's dry and it's not going on your eyes. Um, and also this one, the, the cap got stuck. Something happened, it sort of dried shut and I can't open it. So that one's on its way out the door. All right, this is number seven, Airbrush Away Primer. I like this too. Um, this is a nice cream primer, and I like the cream primers. I find them more moisturizing, and this kind of just gave my skin a nice finish. Makeup applied really, really nice. It seemed to stay on all day. This is a drugstore brand too, um, so check, those, check this out. I don't know what the full size um, is. This was just a 30 milliliter. And this is hyper hypoallergenic. It, this might be the full size. I don't know. I don't know where I got this. And some primers are kind of um, smaller in size. This might be full. It says it's for flawless, radiant skin. It has it's a diffusing primer, clever light diffusing primer. Skin looks instantly healthier, more radiant, appears flawless as if airbrushed, leaves your skin smooth and even all day long. I really like this. I would buy this again. All right, this was the Tatcha Silk Canvas, sorry, stuff spilled in here, Finishing Protective Primer. So it came in, let me show you. So you got like a little thing of this and that was enough 
primer for your entire face. When they so Tatcha is super expensive and like Sephora did a sale thing where you got like seven of these and I only tried the one. I also have the e.l.f. putty primer. They're pretty dang close and e.l.f. is like eight bucks and this I forgot how much this is but it's pricey um, but it's nice and it has it had a nice scent to it as well. Um, it was a gentle fragrance. If you don't like fragrances on your face, you might not like it, but the primer worked and I really concentrated it in the T-zone areas and where I have pores. Um, but literally that amount was more than enough for my entire face. So I do like that. I don't think I'm gonna buy it, but that's just simply because I think it's, too, it's overpriced and I think there's other things on the market that do just as good of a job. Um, all right, so this was a Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This was a sample from Sephora, and unfortunately, it doesn't say, oh, it was by Kiehl's. It's by Kiehl's. Um, so this was like a, like, this was also kind of like an oil serum. It came out a little too fast and made a bit of a mess. Um, I did, it wasn't enough for me to, I wanted to try it a couple of days to see what my real thoughts are on it. So I'm gonna hold off and I can't give you guys a review on it cause I would have to try more to be able to tell you, but I used it so I showed it. All right, this was the leave-in conditioner by Way. Is that how we say it? There's a little bit stuck up on the side there by Way. Um, this is a great little conditioner, but I think it's better for people with like fine hair than it is for like the thick, massive hair that I have. Um, this is not enough and it, the spray came out kind of thicker. Um, I, I'm, I wasn't a fan of this. I thought the scent was pleasant. I know people rave about this, but for my hair texture, it wasn't fantastic for me. I wouldn't buy this again. I have other stuff I like better. All right, this was a teeth whitener and it was, so you just kind of brush it on your teeth and it worked and I was looking at it. There's nothing to say where I, I got this off Instagram and it doesn't have the name on it or anything. So I have no idea what this is, but it worked. If I see it ever again, I'll let you know. We're almost done. All right, these are those, these came in like, um, I think they came in my FabFitFun box and these are fantastic. So they're silicone little bristles and they have individual batteries and you click it on, now this one's dead, you put your cleanser on it and then you scrub your skin. It's gentle on your skin, it gets all the makeup out of your skin. Even after um, the battery died, because it's such a fun like cleansing texture, you can still use these without the battery in it and you can still just scrub your face up and get the stuff out, but the, the vibration of the va battery does help kind of break up all the dirt and grime on your face and makeup, but I love these. We I'm gonna be sad when we don't have any more. We have a couple that we're still using. They come three in a pack, and I think I had six of them, and we're down to like about three of them now. Um, so, yeah, well. And then we have two more products. This was the Scalp and Body Scrub, also by way. Um, this was like a sugar scrub for your hair. So what you did is you take this and you get it in the scalp and it's supposed to take out any like buildup that's in your scalp from products. I don't use a lot of products on my hair. Um, this was kind of messy and difficult to use. Again, I wasn't a huge fan of this. I know people love this brand. Um, I feel bad, but I just, it was okay. I used it. I would not repurchase it, but it was okay. And then the final two products in here, um, Meaningful Beauty by Cindy Crawford. This was a Revive and Brighten Under Eye Mask. Um, and they were purple. So I don't know if anything of the color, it was that just her brand color or if that color had anything to do with it. Um, it has retinol in it as well. And you leave on for 10 to $15 and then you mas massage it in. Um, it did moisturize underneath my eyes. I did not notice that this brightened. I actually have charcoal eye masks that did a lot better and gold eye masks that did a lot better at brightening, but this did moisturize under the eye. So there was that. And the last product here was the Pure Melt Away Makeup Towelette. Um, this came in a sample, I do have one more, and I thought to myself, that is not gonna work. It was such a dry towel, it's not gonna take my makeup off. It did, it actually has like oils in it, it was like an oily towel, but it was not wet at all, it was not moist at all, and it did rub most of my makeup off. Um, I did not think that, I felt like it was a little, the oils were a little bit better because it kind of like moisturized a little bit, but I didn't think, it took all my makeup off. Like I would not spend the money to go buy these, but if
if somebody sends them to me or they like they did when they I ordered they came in with an order I will use them again I just won't spend my money to go buy more okay guys that is it for all my crap <laughs> my garbage all my empties I hope you enjoyed it I will link as many of the products as I can below because a lot of them I really did like so um, I hope you have a wonderful day I'll see you in the next video bye